Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to the Daily Bits. This is the challenge where we're going to try to do one video a day, every day for an entire year. So I figured I would go ahead and hit the uh, record button since I'm on my way to work. Uh, currently, it's pouring the rain and traffic is pretty heavy to, this morning. So usually it's not this bad, but I guess we're supposed to be getting some weird storms, which is always good to look forward to because that's going to make my job a whole lot harder as an IT guy working where I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, we the weather plays a big role in what I do for a living. Um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but uh, I, I never look forward to like severe storms coming my way because uh, usually when that happens, something goes out, something goes wrong, or you know, somebody gets stuck and they're like, oh, I need help, I need help, and I have to travel around the area. And the, the place I work at is huge, and it requires me to drive everywhere I go, um, which you know, that's not too bad. I wish it was walkable, but if for some odd, I, I can't really tell you where I work. Um, all I can say is where I work is pretty dangerous. Um, in a lot of the places, it's very dangerous, um, and it requires PPE and all that stuff. So you you probably see me sometimes have a helmet on, um, especially if I go into the thick of things. But which is really, I, I love this job. I love my job. Love it. Best job I ever had. Um, you know, I, I, I went from being an IT guy to a graphic artist to a dishwasher uh, several times. I don't know why I end up being a dishwasher. Usually that's my starting point. Then it's like, okay, better jobs are here. But for some odd reason, I always ended up like a, a dishwasher for Olive Garden or for a local hospital. Um, which is fun, I guess. I don't know. A job's a job, which I'm grateful for, but I'm extremely grateful for the job I have, which yesterday I had a review, which uh, we do monthly reviews. Actually, I think it's bi-monthly, not monthly. Um, basically, they just kind of see where we're standing, how we're doing, how our tickets are looking, um, seeing how your uh, courses are going, because we have to take... Uh, alongside work, we have to take um, courses uh, to get certificates, um, stuff like that. And, you know, I think my fiscal year, we had to have 12, and I got up to 17. So I think now I have to get 24 hours by the end of next year. Um, so I'm kind of learning a bunch of different things, um, reestablishing, you know, what I do, like graphic design wise, Illustrator, Photoshop, and they do have some Japanese courses, which I don't know if I got, told you guys, I'm actually trying to learn Japanese. Um, I'm hoping I can go, uh, we're aiming for 2025, and there's a few things that I have to do in order to make that happen. A, money. I have to save money, and I have to start saving soon. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm gonna hope Whatever I make from work, I'm gonna put aside from that, and whatever I make from YouTube, which isn't a lot, I don't really make hardly anything from YouTube, uh, but I wanna take the money I do get from YouTube and put that towards the trip. So we can kinda of save. I like to have a pretty, pretty comfortable nest egg whenever we go. Another thing I have to do, I have to lose weight. Um, there's not very many skinny I mean, not very many fat people would go to Japan unless you're a sumo wrestler, and that's what I would look like as a sumo wrestler. And I don't know, like, I've been watching all this stuff, like, uh, about Japan, about going there, like, what it's like going to the shops. It's a lot of tight spaces. And, you know, majority of Japan are fairly in shape people. And I'm not. So I got I got to lose weight. My goal is to get down at least 220, 230. Um, I would like to do that by the end of this year. So that's one of the goals. But another thing I have to do, I have to figure out a way, and it's going to be hard, is to cover my tattoos because tattoos in Japan is kind of looked at as a no-no. 
only Yakuza get tattoos. I'm definitely not a Yakuza. I'm sure. I'm sure somebody in Japan is gonna look at me with a uh, a Dragon Ball Z and a Pokemon tattoo. They're like, "Oh God, he's a Yakuza! Watch out, fat American!" <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. But I'm actually looking forward to it. I've always. I, I'm hoping with my job. Um, you know, we can continue working and hopefully I can get a raise eventually and that's going to help out with the trip. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk more about that later on, but I just figured I'd kind of talk about Japan and my work, how that's been. Um, like I said, it's been pretty good. The review went well. Um, you know, I always look forward to going into work, like, cause the people treat me really well. They treat me really nice. Uh, I'm respected there, um, and I have a sense of, um, I guess, independence, which I never really had that in the job before, so, you know, I, I, I get things done relatively quick, um, and, you know, as soon as somebody calls me or sends me an email or something, I'm automatically on it, like, I'm, I'm right on it, and sometimes I go, well, I try to go every time above and beyond where I need to be, so, I don't know, I don't know, I love it, it's a great job, but today I'm not looking forward to it because of the damn weather, and if it gets as bad as they're saying it is, like, I'm not looking forward to that, because they'll be shutting the place down, well, they won't shut it down, but they will call warnings, um, where people have to get out of the area and go into a shelter, that way they don't get electrocuted, because the nature is there's just a lot of a lot of metal a lot of stuff conducts electricity and nobody wants to get shock acuted shock acuted i don't know but guys thank you so much for watching definitely appreciate it i'll see you tomorrow